Dozens of police officers and their families rode out the hurricane in this room at the police department. And looking at the damage to this building, it's amazing that they all survived. We've got the FEMA from the state up in the parking lot. Mayor Margo Anderson is determined to rebuild her town. An idea where we go have some lunch. A power is probably going to be two months. I know, I know. The once charming Lynn Haven, Florida is now a tangled mess of splinter trees, mangled buildings, and shattered memories. The floor was trying to lift up under us. Mayor Anderson, the town's police officers, and their families didn't leave. Braving the storm's 155 mile an hour winds together, the building began to collapse around them. One of the police officers and I looked at each other. He said, let's get them out of there. It was a miracle that we survived. <laughs> it is unbelievable. Just about every police officer in this small department lost their home that day, but they continue to show up for work. Well, you take an oath to the citizens of this city to protect them and to take care of them and to help them and to serve them. Uh, their needs come before mine. Today, hundreds waited in line, hoping FEMA will provide temporary housing. Are you guys able to live in your house? We, until we get this FEMA stuff situated, we have no choice. The town may have been torn to shreds, but the people here are survivors. They're emotional, they're tired, they're beaten up, they're sad, they're distressed. We've been through a catastrophe, but they're strong. Tammy Leitner, NBC News, Lynn Haven, Florida. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.